Denise Austin, 65, reveals her secrets to getting in bikini-ready shape for the new year. The fitness icon and her daughter Katie Austin made a splash modeling swimsuits for 2022 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Runway Show. At age 65, Denise Austin is rocking a bikini with pride. The renowned fitness instructor made a splash this summer when she and her daughter, Katie Austin, modeled two pieces on the catwalk for the 2022 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Runway Show in Miami. The 80s star told Fox News Digital it was a complete joy to team up with the 29-year-old, who has already made her mark as a fitness influencer on social media with her own app. Katie made her SI swimsuit debut in 2021 as part of their annual swim search. She then returned for this year's issue as an official rookie. For SI, to even ask me at 65 years old to be in a bikini, I mean, it was a huge thrill and I just went for it, said Austin, what the heck? Austin noted that while she's proud to celebrate her body, she hopes it will also inspire other women to realize that it's not too late to revamp their health goals. First, love the body you're in, Austin said. Do the best that you can. I truly believe in having a good attitude. It truly comes from within. I love what Ito, and I feel like I can help women out there feel better about themselves. Exercise, eating right, having a good attitude, a good night's rest, all of it helps with that healthy lifestyle. I want women to truly try their very best to eat healthily and to move more. That's my message. I have always said that for all these 40 years, just do the best that you can. That is the key. Austin, who skyrocketed to fame in the 80s and 90s thanks to her 8-minute abs workout, has sold more than 24 million exercise videos and DVDs over the years. She also starred in the top fitness show, Fit Light, for 14 years. Most recently, the mother-daughter duo teamed up once more. In November, they launched the SlimFast Loves the 80s throwback fitness class, which pays homage to the brand's origins. It features classic aerobic moves, as well as Katie's more modern approach to breaking a sweat. Austin said she designed the 30-minute workout for those who don't want to wait until 2023 to fulfill their resolutions. Getting started can be surprisingly simple, Austin said. Walking is such a great form of exercise, she said. I try to walk every day. I get in my steps. Ellipsis. If you could walk and pump your arms, you'll burn more calories because you're using more muscles. Ellipsis. But walking is just fine. I believe in three ways to stay in shape. Cardio to burn some fat, toning to firm up your muscles and then stretching for improving your flexibility. Ellipsis. I tell people if they're just starting, exercise, three days a week. You will see a difference in your body. Make sure you do a little at a time. Take your time, ease into it. I try to work out most days of the week, but I only work out for 30 minutes, Austin continued. During the holidays, I love to walk and get my steps in. Ellipsis. I love to work out in the morning. That way, I have the whole day and I'm not worried about how I'm going to squeeze it in. But to be perfectly honest, it's what you can fit into your schedule best. That's why if you can just work out for 10 minutes in the morning and then another 10 minutes in the evening, that's okay, too. As long as it accumulates to about 20 to 30 minutes most days of the week. You'll be doing great. Ellipsis. Start small. Wake up maybe 10 minutes earlier than normal and squeeze in that 10-minute workout in the morning. Austin recommended reaching out to a loved one if you need extra encouragement. Exercising with a buddy, she said, can make the workout more enjoyable for some. I always call my sisters and ask, who wants to work out, or who's around to walk this week, she said. I think you should plan, your workouts, too. Put it in your schedule, make it a part of your plan so you have it in your datebook, and it becomes a part of your life. It's all about lifestyle. All of this is to help you live a healthier lifestyle. So, make things more convenient for you and you'll make it stick that way. You'll do it more often and have fun doing it, too. 
and music is key. I love fun music. Ellipsis. My playlist is very diverse. I have music from Drake to Taylor Swift to Bruce Springsteen. Austin said that the most common mistake people tend to make in the new year is overwhelming themselves with too much too soon. I think it's a lot easier to start small and do little things like walk, Austin said. I think people try to do too much sometimes. It then becomes so complicated that it doesn't stick, you won't stay consistent, and you won't see a difference. Start three days a week and build yourself up to four days. Make your workouts fun, something to look forward to. That way you will stick with it. Sometimes it's hard to drive to a gym, she said. That's why I like to work out at home because it's so convenient. If it's convenient, it makes your life easier and you'll stick to it all year.